Fire rated walls are required in the International Residential Code between townhouse units. Learn some codes about the double wall method in these clips from my on-demand course, IRC Chapter 3, Fire in 302, available only at buildingcodecollege.com. In the previous session, I talked about fire separation distance and its specific purpose to minimize the possibility of fire spreading from building to building. Now I'm going to talk about fire spread within one single building and the concern of it spreading from dwelling unit to dwelling unit. And the first section on this subject is 302.2 for townhouses. So let's start small and look at the definition for townhouse. It's a building that contains three or more attached townhouse units. And townhouse unit is a new term in the 2021 IRC. And we see that it's just a dwelling unit in a townhouse, but with a few other details I'll go over. As defined, a townhouse is the whole building and can have three to an infinite number of townhouse units. And in the townhouse unit definition, we find that each unit must extend vertically from foundation to roof sheathing. You cannot have any portion of one townhouse unit over or under another. Townhouse units must also be open on at least two sides to a yard or court. The historical way of looking at townhouses is to take this row of detached single family homes, each built with less than five feet of fire separation distance. So each one has a one hour rated exterior wall rated for fire exposure from both sides. And then imagine a giant squeeze them all against each other. Well now as a townhouse building, they have to be vertically separated with two one hour walls and they're gonna be open on two sides. This is how townhouses were addressed in the IRC before they were specifically addressed in the IRC. And that's what led to the double wall method in section R302.2.1. During construction, it can look like this, where you have a one hour rated wall on this townhouse unit and another one hour rated wall on this unit. In this photo, the drywall on the inside is being inspected before this second wall is stood up against the other. In this method, plumbing and mechanical services are allowed inside of either wall. And any penetrations of the inside membrane of the wall need to be protected in accordance with section 302.4. And I'll go over those details in the next session. Well, I hope that clip was helpful to you. For the full on-demand course, go to buildingcodecollege.com and click the link to the course catalog. Scroll down the list of courses until you find IRC Chapter 3, The Human Element. You can watch the first course video by simply clicking the thumbnail image. For four months of 24-7 access to the full three-hour ICC-approved course, it's only $45 and a few clicks away but you can get 10% off any enrollment using the coupon code YouTube.